What's up everybody, it's Legendary Lords here. Um, I'm gonna help this disabled Jeep get back to its home. Hopefully before my Diplodocus decides to assault my electrified heavy steel fences. Because if he does that, then I'll just have to leave this disabled Jeep to return to its home alone. And that would suck for the Jeep. But I don't care about the Jeep. So it can find its own way home, because it's useless to me. I'm smiling, by the way. Like a sarcastic smile. Although that wasn't sarcastic, so... Skid! That was nice. I have 72 million dollars? What? Ooh, Mr. Diplodocus is angry now. Since when did I have 72 million dollars on Isla Takanyo? Right? This is Takanyo, I believe. Not... Muerta was the last one. Pena is the next one. This is... No, Pena. Yeah, because Takanyo had the tilde. I know you're mad. Attack defense and I'll fix it. That's all I'll do. Stand there. I'm warning you. <laughs> that worked. Okay, maybe it would be smart to not shoot right at the... Post. Um, maybe I'm just not smart. Uh, stay there. Now shoot the gun. I'm... What? This jeep is gonna explode. Oh my god. Yeah, I might explode my own jeep by shooting flares. There... Well, have you ever done that before? Gotten a, a flare stuck on your jeep? I bet you haven't. What if I go up? Another one. Up. Up there. Oh. How about we shoot that woman in the body? I was going for the head. I have money, so I mean a $10,000 flare is nothing. Oh, I can shoot the dart. The $5,000 dart through it. But I can't. Okay, um, now he's definitely very attacky defensey time. I think he's going to attack the fence on the inside because it's just more space. So I'm going to have to go fix that before he has enough space to be happy again. Because I don't want him to be happy. I want him to suffer. Feel the pain. Jeeps are good at water living. You will suffer, young Padawan. You just, you're shoving your tail through an electric fence. And it's going straight between the metal bars. I just got attacked by your tail. I can't drive because your tail. Well, I'm just going to say, add a task, uh, go fix him. You, ah, he's done anyway, tranquilize him. Get him out of here. Get him out of my sight. I don't want to see these disgusting pigs anymore. That's kind of mean. I don't care. I need storm defense coverage. Because there's a lot of storms on this island, right? I know, like, so many storms. Oh my god. Everything's gonna get destroyed if I don't have storm defense station coverage. I don't know if I can afford that either. It's pretty expensive.
I don't think I have the space for it, actually. A dinosaur threat? I wonder why. I'd imagine he would attack my jeep. And I'd imagine that my jeep is dumb. And my jeep imagines... Why was I... My jeep can't... Okay. Drive! Oh, it would probably help if I was clicking S, not Z. Right? That would help. Here, let me f resupply that for you. Go away, Velocigator. You're a Velocigator. How do you feel about that? Sure, I'll resupply the goats. Why not? Leave. Get out of my sight. I have to move the Diplodocus over here now. I'm trying to find the most efficient spot to put this. How about we go all the way over here, where there is one there, and we just put one here. Sure. Ooh, I unlocked this. Nice. I can't do that now, but it would get me the Metriacanthosaurus. Ooh. Okay, so I will just let you know that I may not be able to make all the dinosaurs before I'm done with the new, with the story, but I will make every dinosaur to its maximum population in its minimum habitat size on Isla Nublar. Just so you know. Once I make it to Mrs. Sandbox Island, hopefully we have literally the whole thing from beach to beach, beach to beach. I mean, Isla Sorna is pretty big too, but we also have these to do and then that and then Sorna. But once I make it here, I will make every dinosaur to its maximum social capacity. Ooh, homolocephale. Okay. And in its minimum place, habitat size. You're useless to me. So the Herorosaurus comes in science, and then the Yarke Ornithomimus comes in security. So I just have to focus on these two. Not forget about him, otherwise I'm going to get sabotaged and I'm going to cry to my, myself to sleep. Go away. Incubate, ha that's easy. Expedition map. Where's the new place that we got to go for the homilus of fail? Here. Just here. I just realized that this viewing gallery isn't attached to the fence. Yet it still works! So I'm pretty proud about that. Now, I just want to say, uh, T-Rex... You're 54 years old. You only live for another 12 years. Nice. Notosaurus is now available too. So we can go there for Notosaurus. So we only have two places to go and I have three dig teams. That's useless. So if I have the story straight, there was some excitement and drama among the eggheads. A real PhD thrill hell, huh? <laughs> You're not funny, Cabot Finch. So 
Ah, uh, hmm, yeah. I'm actually going to start this mission now for the Metricanthosaurus. Yep. I just sold our first T-Rex to make a new one. Shut your mouth, Lambert. I am going to fire you. Stop talking so I can talk, please. Stop! <laughs> You're de hi oh think I understand why. There. Can you be hydrated now? So I think I think they decided to finally shut their mouths and let me talk. I am going to make a super T-Rex. Ooh, that this puts attack up. I'm going to do crab blood because it does attack at least for the resilience defense. Lifespan increase. Yes. Habitat I don't have to modify. Stress. No, I don't think that'll work. <laughs> okay, so that'll do. But we have negative 17% viability. And it's also $7 million. I need the attack to be up above 150. So I can get rid of one of these and it'll still be above that. Then we have 23% viability. So then I simply just, oh. I only have 2.0? So then I, okay, so this is 80% viable at this point. 83% viable. We're going to try to make one. And what do I have to make? A Deinonychus with Aggressive Instincts 2.0. Well, I haven't made a Deinonychus yet. So, Deinonychus. There it is. Aggressive Instincts. I probably didn't have to change the T-Rex's skin pattern, but I did. I bet you it's under attack. Yep. I'm not making another one with aggressive instincts, at least. So I will immediately remove that. But I am going to make a very expensive very weak, but also very strong T-Rex. So that's good. We don't always get offers like this. Consider it 
Sure. So let's see. Notosaurus, one of those. Another Notosaurus, one of those. That's good. Money, because I need some more of that. I'm not going to get the Homilus to fail until I get an Amber. That is, if I get an Amber. I got two Notosaurus Ambers. That's pretty lucky. Pay a sandstone member. Why is it called a member? What is it a member of? I am gonna do something smart and request a contract from Isaac. That's, knock on wood, easy. It is not a wise thing to do when, if you're about to record a YouTube video, to drink some Coke before. Or any soda, for that matter. Because then you start to burp. And that's not good. I mean, it is technically good. But it's not. Because it's disgusting. So I have to make a... living area for the Dumbos that we call Deinonychus. And if you decide to take the monorail, lucky you. Can I fit one of these here? No. I'm assuming it must go over here to be a failure. Yeah. I mean, unless I put it here, it does technically get more viewed if it's there. Although, that is pretty nice. The monorail's view size covers that entire thing every time it passes through. But I will still put one of these for the sole purpose of when the monorail isn't coming through. I did not get a homilus of fail. Amber, you, and Notosaurus. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, don't we don't have power, right? Or do we? Five? We have five spare power. Well, that's helpful. I kind of need more than five power. That was a weird noise. And I don't really think I have any more room for power stations. Let's see. What is my rating? It's just okay capacity that's the problem. Why did I build this... For carnivores. Okay, capacity, my butt. The okay capacity is the only thing stopping me from having five stars. Also, what is coastal? Ah. Yeah. 
Oh no, that's complete all missions. Now what is that coastal thing for five star unlock? I don't understand. It's weird. Okay, sell. Do the big one first, because it'll get you more. I might not get an amber for my homilus of fail. Okay, something's ready. They both are. T-Rex first. And we're going to watch it because it's a T-Rex. Your jaw opens wider than that. I know it does. Mommy is very angry. That's exactly what I wanted. Because Mommy is very angry. Thankfully, that worked first try. So I can unmodify everything I modified about Mr. T-Rex here. Boom. So now the T-Rex is very cheap again. Also, I'm going to put that hatchery capacity back along with my incubation speed 4.0s. Assist any dinosaur to two combat victories. That is actually very, very easy. Because I have a T-Rex. Now this is a Deinonychus. Looks like a Velociraptor that can swim. It deserves to be tranquilized. Kill it. But the reason why this is so very simple... <coughs> I just choked on air. This new strain of aggressive dinosaur needs to be watched. Monitored and evaluated. Honestly, Shut your mouth. Stop talking over me. Come on! Thank you. Okay, so the reason why it's so easy to do that uh, contract is because we have a T-Rex. And simply put, I am going to feed it. I am going to straight up feed it. Triceratops. Okay, so its social has to be up. I'm going to actually quickly check that. Dang it, I didn't see. Uh, well, I can check it here. But if you remember from early on in the series, like the first few episodes, I tried to feed Triceratops to... Um... Ceratosaurus, yes. And it didn't work. But now here's the thing. That's because Ceratosaurus is a weak little useless butthead. But this is a T-Rex we're talking about. He's not weak or useless or a butthead in any way, shape, or form. Therefore, he will eat. Go have fun. Yeah, we are pleased to welcome food to the park. Not a Triceratops. Just straight food. You better be hungry, Mr. T-Rex. He is. He's hungry. Well, hopefully he doesn't get a goat. Because I want him to be 
starving when the first trike comes in. Please don't be hunting a goat. Because somehow... No, don't be hunting that goat. Because somehow a single goat can fill the stomach of a T-Rex. He's looking at it. Don't hunt it. Do not hunt it. I know you're very hungry because you're useless at hunting, but don't hunt it. Or it. We have trikes, And they are your foodsies. I need to make another Deinonychus. Uh, Deinonychus. Where's the Deinonychus? I'm blind. There it is. I was already highlighting it. Okay, um... He's not there yet. He doesn't have food either, but, uh, shush. So, uh, dang it. I'm just gonna give him food, and these are electrified. So I was gonna put a carnivore in here to begin with. I'm just dumb. How am I not five stars? Okay, welfare. Okay, capacity. So you're saying I need more hotels. I'll try. I'll try to fit a hotel somewhere. That's all I'll say. So he's got to stay in here as an agitated brute for four minutes. I'm going to take this jeep and I'm going to hopefully drive over there before he breaks out. Imagine I could ride the monorail in a jeep. That would be fun. Airtime. Faster. 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 It's not fast enough. I don't know if you could tell, but it's not fast enough. It's taken almost a minute to get this far. I'm pretty sure he will have broken out. And if he broke out and killed anyone, I'm pretty sure I'd fail the mission. And I don't want to fail the mission because I don't want to do it again. Simply put, I do not want to do the mission again. That's the only reason why I wish I didn't fail. Now Mr. Deinonychus is right here. Hit with the fence, get electrocuted, and I'll fix it. Yeah, that's what I thought he was going to do. Okay, so he's got the brain of a velociraptor that is a little stupider because he can't communicate like a velociraptor. Yet he tests the fence. If it hurts, he goes somewhere else. This would be a very, very annoying and terrible time to get sabotaged. And watch, I'm probably going to get sabotaged by Dr. Wu for the sole purpose of ruining my day. Now, I'm going to come in here to catch him attacking the fence, one, and to maybe distract him. Are you enjoying that? I'm watching you for the next two minutes. I'll take a snap, a snapper of you. Deinonychus, you sure that's not Deinonychus eating? Pretty sure that's a Deinonychus eating. I guess not. I'm following you, Mr. Dino. Dinono kiss. Attack the fence. I dare you. Climb the stairs. That's a pretty dumb idea to have stairs leading to a door on the inside of the cage. Because, as we've proven in some Jurassic World movies, Velociraptors are smart enough to open doors. So why would you have one on the inside of a viewing area? How'd that feel? Did that hurt? I bet it did. How did he know that my Jeep can't drive through a jungle, yet a motorcycle with a pack of raptors can? Reference to a movie. Ha ha. It's a Jurassic World series. What else do you want me to do? I'm watching you. 
I'm not even... Well, that's it for the video. I wasn't even holding down W or anything. It was just driving on its own. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Join my Discord server in the description, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye!